The next field we're going to learn about is the O embed field. So if we go into our field group and we click add field and we'll just call it embed a video and we will assign it the O embed field. Okay. If you don't know what O embed is, it's basically a protocol which allows for your site to query another website that supports O embed and to grab all of the HTML and JavaScripts that's required to embed that piece of code, that, that thing. So if it's a video or like a Twitter card or something like that, if the website supports that, then you might be able to embed it very simply as opposed to copying in HTML and JavaScript manually. So this is the ID of the field called embed a video. We'll update that and then we'll go into our theme or sorry, into our code. And we will just do what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of these things because it can get in the way. Actually, no, I'll keep it there because I'm going to put this up on GitHub. So we'll leave it. If we go further down, let's do a var dump of embed a video. So var dump. Actually, we'll just do we'll create a variable called embed get field embed a video and then we'll do a var dump of that down here php var dump embed and uh, let's go into this page and we'll just refresh the page and I'm going to remove this file there so it doesn't take up anything from the um, take up space and you'll see that we have this embedded video now there are only certain websites that are that work with O embed. Not every single website works. So you can go to a website here called wordpress.org forward slash support article embeds. And this gives you a list of all the sites that you can actually bring stuff in. So as I said, you can bring in Twitter stuff. You can bring in, uh, you can do YouTube, uh, Reddit, all that sort of stuff. And you know, you can embed a YouTube video very, very straight, uh, very, very easily. So let's try it. Let's go onto YouTube and I'm going to go onto my channel. And I'm going to grab my latest video and I'll copy the URL to it. Okay. And then I'm going to just paste it into there and you'll see what happens. It automatically brings in everything there. So you don't actually have to type like paste any code or anything. You just put in the URL and then we click on update. And remember we var dumped it. So it should automatically, Oh, we've just had a bit of a problem with my server. I might have to reload it. There we go. We'll refresh it again. So it's still there. We'll go and we'll refresh our page and you'll see when we do a var dump, it dumps the actual, the whole thing. It doesn't dump any code. It just dumps the actual embed. So with that being said, let's just do PHP echo embed. Refresh. There we go. So it's basically embedded without us having to do any code. You can obviously do an, a wrapping if statement. So just do this just in case there is no embed and let's uh, go back and refresh if we go back to edit the page and then we try and maybe bring something from Twitter instead so we'll go on to Twitter search and let's see what there is there so let's just grab anything all right let's click on this grab the URL of it and then maybe paste that in there and see what that does. All right. So that didn't actually work. I think because it's not an actual post, but let's click on this post. Let's click on here and oops, that's not right. Copy that, paste it in, remove that and paste it again. And as you can see, it brings in the Twitter card. We'll hit update, go to our page. And there you go. It's nice and simple. You don't need to put any, any kind of code in to make it come up. So that is the embed field. See you in the next video.